Creole Parametric 8.0 added the ability to create draft drawing views from imported 2D geometry. Here I have a drawing open. This drawing was created by importing a DXF file. And now I want to turn a bunch of these entities into these draft views. If you take a look in my drawing tree underneath sheet one, you can see that we have no views in here. If I go to the sketch tab over on the right, we have a create draft view icon that's currently grayed out. I'm going to swipe a box over a bunch of different entities that I want to turn into a draft view. Now that I've selected all of those things, I can click on the icon. And if you take a look in my drawing tree, now I have draft view one over here. If I click on it, I can get to the edit definition icon. And from here, I can change, say, the view name. I'll call this my front view. And here is the view type. It is a general view. You'll also notice that projection is available from here. And on the left-hand side, we have the different categories. One of the advantages of creating these draft views is that you can control the scale of the entities. I can change the scale and the draft entities will change appropriately. And there's also the alignment option where you can align this to another view. I'm happy with this. Let's click the OK button. So now I've got my first view in here. Let me swipe a box over these different entities. Alternatively, to get to the command, you can hold down the right mouse button. Here you can see the create draft view command. And also it is the keyboard shortcut of shift W. And I will click on this. Now we have a second draft view in here. Let me once again left click on it and then edit definition or change the properties. I'm going to call this my right view. But importantly, I'm going to change this from a general view to a projection view. And for the parent view, I'm going to pick that first view that I created. Here you can add some projection arrows, but I've already got some in there that were imported. And underneath alignment, hey, we can make sure that this view is aligned to the other view if we want to. But let's uncheck that and just click the OK button. So in that way, we have our two different views in here. Oops, let me go back and go to the properties. I wanted to call this right view. Maybe I didn't hit the enter key or something and click the OK button. There we go. And one last time, let's select all these different entities up here and then create a draft view from that one. And go to the properties. I will call this my top view and also make this a projection view based off of the first view that was created. Oh, it looks like picking the view changes the name. Let's rename it. There we go. And hit the OK button. And so now when I take a look at these different views, let's go to the layout tab. We can see that we've got the front view and there's a little arrow that we can expand to show that it has hatches associated with it. But for these different views, I can also go to the icon here and choose to sort the tree. And I'll sort the tree by the parent views. And you can see that here indeed, the two other draft views that I created are the children of the front view. And so that's how you can end up creating draft views from imported 2D geometry in Creole Parametric 8.0. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.